So when you guys started Drift, everybody was like, what the hell are you doing, man? This is the most crowded market. You're going into marketing and sales. Why are you going to enter this crowded market? Chat. Chat. There's a million vendors in this space. There's, and, and even as an investor and an advisor, like people ask you all the time, do you see, you know, there's too much competition in this market. I got this other market. There's mm -hmm. nobody there. This comes up a lot. And so I want you mm -hmm. to, this is what I want you to kind of riff on today. You want me to go ham? Yeah. So why, why is that? And, and you're already, I can already tell you. Why is that? Why, why should you go to a crowded market? So the so I hear I get this question a lot, and so Ryan, who was interviewing me on stage at TNC, Ryan Dice, what's up? Uh, he, the homie, he said um, he pulled up the famous Market Tech slide, which is if you don't know, it's the slide that has five to seven thousand marketing and sales SaaS vendors, Madness. and it just keeps getting more and more crowded. Uh, from our guy Scott Brinker, who created that, and uh, he said, looking at that slide, why would you ever start another company in this area? And I said, uh, and what I said to him was like, I love that slide. That slide is awesome. I love that there are five to 7,000, whatever the number is, of companies in this space. Because one thing that I've noticed that entrepreneurs love to do is that they love to chase or think about entering markets that have no competitors. Mm. And what I say is if there's no competitor in the market, especially in B2B, then there is no market. Mm. So not, no e money. not even as a founder, for, well, me, as, as a founder, entrepreneur, investor, yeah. if somebody came to me and they're like, I, DC, I pitch you on my company, I pitch you on my idea, and you said, great, who are your competitors? And I said, there are none. Yeah. What would you say? Mm, not good. Go back. Not a good sign. There must be a competitor. So there might not be a direct competitor, but there's someone vying for that attention, right? We have a limited amount of attention uh, in business and in personal life. There's 24 hour days, 24 hours in a day, and so if you're going to be successful in whatever it is that you're building, whether it's this water bottle here, that computer, or a piece of software, then you must be by taking from mm. that attention away from something else. You are competing with something else to take that attention away, even if it's not a direct replacement. And so I say, like, you want to move to markets that are very crowded, mm. that have a lot of... Uh, lot of companies in there because that means there's money there mm. if there's no one there and this is what uh, entrepreneurs usually say to me is that i found an amazing market it's the you know untapped. gazillion untapped <laughs> gazillion dollars and then the next then my question is like well who is in that market well no one so h what market is there that there's a gazillion dollars in yeah. that it's not competing with some other resource directly or indirectly for it doesn't exist the other thing about crowded markets i didn't realize until thinking through this mm -hmm. It actually gives you an advantage. If you can go into a crowded market, you're going to be able to study what are all the mistakes that every. You're going to be able to accelerate your accelerate your learning as a founder, as somebody in this company, because you can study how did this company go to market, how mm -hmm. did they sell? Oh, maybe they don't spend on AdWords because they realized the cost per click was too high. Mm -hmm. So you've they've already learned that lesson for you. That, that's called modeling. Modeling. And a lot of people at the traffic conversion conference were sell information, yep. courses, videos, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, weight loss, workout, weight, this and that. Exactly. Yep. And, uh, and I was talking to one of the, I was on a boat you know, the night before. Oh. Was that when you flew a helicopter Shh, onto a boat? Come on, Amy's Oh, here. sorry, Amy's sorry. It was on Instagram. They've oh, okay, all okay, seen okay, it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a big boat. Uh, it you was know, a party boat. You know that you flying to on a, that got me in trouble? Why? Oh, yeah. This heard. always happens. I get in trouble for things I didn't even do. Okay. Leah, That's the way it should be. Uh, we went on a trip once and she wanted me to take a helicopter tour. And I yeah. said, hell no. Uh -huh. And so she sees you and Elias on the helicopter and she and she was with me in San Diego. And she goes, this is bullshit. And I'm like, how are you mad about this? She goes, because if I wasn't here, David and Elias would have pressured you and you would have been on that helicopter. Truth. And I'm like, so you're... And I was like, yes. And I was like, but you're mad. At, this didn't even happen. And you're yeah. mad at me because of that. So you She's got right. me in trouble. Wait, was she were right? Not, she was 100% right. 100%, there we go. Yeah. Thank you, Leah. Yeah. Uh, so I was on that boat. Uh -huh. and I was talking to a couple of entrepreneurs on that boat. And one of them sold products in the weight loss category. Okay. And he said something almost very, I don't know how it came up, but very similar of like, hey, I'm in the super crowded market weight loss. Can you imagine how crowded that market is? That 5,000. Crazy. 100,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. A million, gazillion people in there. And um, he said that he loved it because people look at it as a crowded market, but that means there's endless opportunity in there, endless dollars, because it's a big, giant, addressable market. What you need to do because of once you're in a competitive market, that's the key. Yes. The key is not if it's competitive or not. It's how can you approach, can you find a unique way into that market and approach that market just like this guy in uh, weight loss uh, did that he could get in and he had a specific product that was doing amazing mm -hmm. uh, because he found a niche and found a way into this crowded market.